Hi, Emma. Hi, Dad. I just thought I'd uh, talk to you today about some of the ideas in my book, Pick Your Battle. My book was influenced by uh, a lot of other books. You know, that's how it generally is. One book kind of stacks upon another. Yeah. This week, I wanted to talk to you about Althusser's ideas about ideology. His concept of an ideological state apparatus. In societies, there's two ways to make people do what you want. But there's something he calls the repressive state apparatus, and then there's something he calls the ideological state apparatus. Now, the repressive state apparatus is pretty easy to figure out. It's the police. It's the army. Um, it, if you're at school, it's maybe the principal. But it's the people who command you to do something on threat, on, on threat of punishment. Now, the ideological state apparatus, uh, this is the way that societies get you to do what they want by forming, or shaping, and controlling how you think. Paying someone? Paying someone is one way to, <laughs> to, to, uh, to change the way people think. But paying someone is, uh, I think, would almost fall into the category of a repressive state apparatus because you can, payment is something that you get, but it's also you can be threatened to have that taken away from you. So like a wage relationship, that is uh, front of the cusp of being just a straight ahead repressive state apparatus, that, that relationship on the job where you have to do what you're told or else you won't get paid. An ideological state apparatus is something a little different. Um, so what, what we might do first is look at that word ideology. What does that mean? Now, most of the time, people think of ideology as something like propaganda, or um, if they're a little more uh, nuanced about it, they might say that an ideology is a set of ideas or about politics or the way society works, but it's a set of ideas that um, don't necessarily correspond to reality. So, like, for instance, Republicans have their ideology, and Democrats have their ideology, and commies, no good commies like your father, they have their ideology. But none of our ideologies match reality. So here's the thing that Althusser brings to the discussion about ideology that's a little different. He says that um, ideology is a fantasy that allows us to live in the world. In other words, that yeah, it's true. An ideology is something that isn't true, that doesn't match up with the real world, but it's necessary. For people to live together, they have to have ideologies. They have to live in, in a fantasy. This is Althusser's idea. Is he crazy? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was crazy, but only at the end of his life. <laughs> but he did, he had to spend some time in a mental hospital. That is true. Okay. 